Well, this year, 2020, has been a brutal year for weather catastrophes here in this country. So far, we've racked up $16 billion disasters, including Hurricane Laura and also the ongoing Western wildfires. Countless families have had prized possessions like pictures, paintings, and artwork damaged by water or by fire. But there is a way to bring those cherished mementos back to life. I'm joined now live by Jim Wallers, owner of Art Recovery Technologies, and thanks for joining us this morning. So, Jim, describe to us how you're able to salvage like baby pictures, wedding albums, even family photos feared to be lost forever. Well, we have to approach each piece individually. Uh, I wish there was just a generic answer where we can say this is what we do. But the first step is, of course, to mitigate the damage, to get it into an environment where we're able to deal with it uh, where it's dry, low humidity, um, you know, and we're able to stabilize the piece. So whether it's from a weather disaster or perhaps just an accident, uh, what can people do right now to minimize damage to their pictures or artwork before perhaps uh, you can send them to an expert? All right, well, like I said, a lot of times if you're dealing with a painting, of course, remove it as soon as possible to a cool, dry, light environment with low humidity. Um, of course, the low humidity can be a key, it can be an issue in the South, especially. Uh, you want to lay it face up. You never really want to touch or blot the paint layer. Uh, you don't want to apply heat. Uh, one of the key things that we recommend is don't place it in a bag. Uh, the bag can create, create a greenhouse effect uh, and promote mold, gro mold growth. And also don't wrap it in bubble wrap or paper because a lot of times that can adhere to the, to the surface and remove part of the part of the paint when it's when it's removed from the painting. And I've seen way too many people, you know, kind of go through what they view as ruins and see their um, pictures and kind of damaged. So uh, what, what are the odds of things being recovered? So these priceless mementos of their life? Yeah, extremely high, actually. People are very surprised at what we can restore. Um, you know, right now we're in the process of working on a piece that's from the late 1800s. Uh, it was damaged in Hurricane Sally. They didn't realize it had been damaged until just this past, just a couple of days ago, actually. Um, but, but like I said, when it comes down to it, it's amazing what can be done through the art recovery process. It sounds like the pros can definitely do the actual artwork. What about the frame? So, so any DIY tips that you can uh, give people to kind of clean the frames or even the, the, the glass that's covering the frame? Yes. When you're dealing with the glass, of course, if it's just normal glass, just like you would clean your household glass, glass cleaner and paper towels are fine. If it's an acrylic or plexiglass, you want to use just warm, soapy water and a microfiber rag on that glass, on that type of surface. Now, when you're dealing with the frames, uh, we'll deal with the most common ones. If it's a wooden frame, just smooth wooden frame, microfiber cloth and furniture polish is fine for that. If it's a little more porous, you wanna go again with microfiber, but more of a wood cleaning product. And if you have a plastic or acrylic frame, again, you don't wanna use paper towels because it could scratch the surface. You wanna use warm soapy water and a microfiber rag. And Jim, you're a professional, but I've seen a lot of things. So what is the most interesting or out of the ordinary item that you've restored? Uh, that, that one is, is, is difficult. We did, we did a museum down in Louisiana just this past summer that had flood damage that had, it was an African-American museum and it was full of statues, wooden statues from Africa. And, and I would say those were probably the most unique pieces that we've restored. All right, sounds very interesting. And that's Jim Wallers, owner of Art Recovery Technologies. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Felicia?